Hello guys, I am back from another video on Xavier Somewhat. What if Belle was from Terraria? So in the last week we talked about how after the whole, you know, three goddess alliance happening and also, you know, defeating Ishtar and Ishtar getting killed by, you know, Ultar's blade, thanks to the help of Freya, they would arrive back at Terraria where Belle is currently still, you know, sleeping. It turns out that he's pretty much in a coma. And because of that, everybody was a bit worried about him, and so a certain goddess by the name of, you know, Aphysis would basically stand by and act as like a sort of like, you know, check up for like check up for him. Basically she basically acts as like a protector in case if he, you know, wakes up in case, or if he's still pretty much hurt, or something of that sort. And after checking that he was pretty much okay and not freaking dead, they would basically stick around and would basically try and take care of Bell. So, after a few days have gone by, Aphysis would basically go back to her normal work, but instead of living in her, you know, you know, her home in, I guess you could say the, you know, in the Aphysis Familia, I mean, Aphysis Familia household, instead she basically stays at, you know, the Hesia Familia household to basically tend to Bell. And currently, the, uh, you know, the, um, the Aphysis, not the Aphysis, but the Hesia Familia, I mean, it's not really that bad, but they're not really struggling, or sort of. Because of Belle basically just being gone, you know, both, you know, wait for a sec, both Vitas and also, you know, um, Vitas and also, you know, Lily would have to do all of the grunt work, like, all of the grunt work by themselves. And because of that, business has been, you know, not really slow, but, you know, not really that bad. But it's still pretty much bad because Belle is pretty much out of commission. Currently with the, you know, with the, he not Hestia, I meant the Loki Familia, let's just say after hearing about, you know, hearing about Bell's, you know, coma, let's just say Ben has been the tirade and saying that they're, you know, that there's, you know, that they're able to basically get their, you know, um, their number one spot back, which, by the way, let's just say he acted like a little bitch at the time, and so let's just say a certain, you know, a certain, you know, girl by the name of, you know, what's her name? A certain girl by the name of, you know, yeah, Eyes would basically put a stop to this and basically say that, you know, she shouldn't, you know, he shouldn't just do all of that, you know, do all of that. Instead, just, you know, at least try to be nice to them, but he would obviously not listen and would basically start, you know, spouting out that they're going to be coming back to the limelight or something of that sort. And then one day, they would start to going on to the route where the artificial bios that Belle created in the dungeon, you know, they would basically start to go to that route and let's just say they're being destroyed. Mostly because they didn't really get their, you know, didn't really get the weapons that were manufactured by, you know, Aphysis, the ones that are basically infused with, you know, you know, with Terraria ores, which by the way, are the only weakness to these monsters. Yeah, so let's just say their asses were grass and they're about to get mowed. So. As they're trying to find a way, they would basically arrive at a, you know, dead end. More specifically, the so-called dead end, where Bell basically first met, you know, the clother, aka the, you know, old man. AKA Ben. Or at least I think that's his name. It's been a long time since we actually, you know, talked about them. So, as one of them would point out that it's actually hollow, they would basically break it down and all of them would start to escape, which all of the mods would basically start to get, like, also escape out of there because they don't want to mess with that. So, after arriving at the, you know, actual dungeon, aka, you know, the dungeon in Terraria, they would start to go in and would notice the, you know, the mad cultist and his other cultist friends basically doing the ritual. After Bet butts in and would basically start to fight them, well, let's just say, you know, the mad cultist himself was pretty much pissed, starting the boss battle. But, before we actually, you know, actually saw, you know, Bet getting Simon to the ground, we basically, you know, end off the episode right there. So yeah, so, let us talk about what happens next. So, we currently see Bet about to get stabbed by some sort of, like, light spear. Or at least I think so. Let me just check what happened last episode. Yeah, I was wrong. He would say, Now, die, you insignificant fools! After saying that, Large spears of light conjured by several magic circles would basically appear right in front of, you know, of Bet and also the rest of the, you know, of the Loki Familia, which they're getting their weapons ready. As 
these spears, these spear-like beings would basically appear, you know, from these, you know, magic circles as they would slam down, creating a large explosion. All of them would be sent back as they thought that they were about to die, as all of them would see some of their limbs. They were either torn off, or just bleeding so much to the point that they're basically just like, you know, a ca- not really a casualty, I meant a, you know, um, yeah, what do you actually call it? A liability, I meant. So, as he saw this, he would start to feel so much pain from that attack, as he would say this, You pathetic little fools and your fake gods! You dare stand before me! As he would basically wave his pay, like, wave his, like, you know, his robes a little to the side, as he would raise his, like, you know, left arm and would basically just, like, swoop it to the side. As he would say, You dare stand before me! I am the mad cultist! The great and powerful praiser! The, you know, the messiah! The one that will bring forth retribution to your fake gods! After seeing this, he would start to create, you know, more light beams from these weird looking circles. As one of them specifically, Bet, would say this, What the hell are we supposed to do? This guy's crazy! As he would say this, specifically, you know, um, what's his face? Specifically, you know, um, yeah, Finn, he would say, wait. As he would start grabbing something from his, you know, bag, and this thing was a crossbow, but more specifically, a... It was a red, almost, almost metal-ish, you know, crossbow. And this crossbow was an adamantite crossbow. As you would grab some arrows, more specifically, um... Let me just pick it. What type of arrow? He would be given, you know, um, not really given, but more like, you know, he would get Iker arrows, which he got these two specific items from, you know, Hephaestus. He would decide that he wanted to get some, you know, ranged weapons in case that, you know, if there's a bigger threat. So he would basically request, you know, a Physis to make him a weapon so that he can, you know, use it in case of that type of situation. And so, after being given this item, apparently he would be also be told that these items were actually a, you know, you know, designed by, you know, Bell. And after hearing about this, he would basically think that he should probably thank Bell for this, you know, great, you know, weapon. But after hearing about Bell's, you know, coma, you know, he was a bit sad. Mostly because, you know, he thought Bell was actually a pretty good guy. I mean, a pretty good guy. I mean, most of the time, if people had so much power, they're either arrogant or just, you know, complete assholes. Like, um, <clears throat> but so. As after pointing the Iker arrow towards, you know, the, you know, the Anamitite, you know, crossbow, not, I guess you could say crossbow, but, um, we're just gonna call it repeater, or just crossbow, because they're basically just the same thing, they're basically just like, you know, a crossbow, so, after pointing the crossbow towards, you know, the, you know, the mad ass, you know, the completely, like, mental ass, you know, um, wait for a second... The, you know, metal, the, you know, mental cultist, or just the mad cultist in this case, would just, you know, you know, would be, you know, beaten with a large arrow coming at him at full speed, as the arrow would basically stab into his head, as after being hit by this, he would start, you know, feeling a little bit, you know, hurt, because, after all, Iker, compared to that, you know, Compared to, you know, the corrupted energy of, you know, the Moon Lord, I'm just gonna go into a whole, like, you know, um, I'm just gonna give a little bit of my essence on this, because, you know, it's been a long time since I actually seen Terraria, so, yeah, he would get stabbed by the arrow as he would slowly get, you know, his health drained away, thanks to the help of the holy energy, as he would say, why you, as he would basically start shooting more and more arrows towards him, as he would try to dodge, he would start, you know, creating these, like, you know, weird looking clones that would almost seem identical to him, but thanks to, you know, Finn's, you know, almost perfect accuracy and his, you know, knack for seeing the detail, he would start shooting towards, you know, the actual man cultist. After a while of shooting at him, he would basically be on the ground, basically panting, saying, Why did you stop me? I was destined for greatness, and you... But before he could say anything else, Bet would basically charge in and would basically, you know, grab him by the neck as he would punch through him, causing him to basically burst open. As several of his, you know, 
um, you know, fleshy body parts were basically flown out of his chest. As you'd say, you will forget this. After saying this, he would basically flop onto the ground, basically dead. As after doing this, he would basically, you know, um, no, you know, um, swipe the blood away as he would say this. Wait. After saying that, one of them would say this. I think we've done it. Damn, that guy was scared. But before they can say anything else, they would start to feel rumbling on the ground, feeling like something is erupting. As all of them were saying to themselves, what the heck is going on? Meanwhile, back in the Hestia Familia household, we go there as, you know, you know, a vice is still watching on Bell. As you say, Bell, just be okay. Please come back. I want to see you again, she would say, a bit, you know, saddened, as she wants to see Belle so much, to the point that she's willing to do anything. But, Belle would start to feel, or at least, she would start to look at Belle and his arm, as Belle would start to almost seem to be waking up. His hand is starting to move a little bit. I should say, Belle? Belle? She would basically look up at him. As Bell would basically open his eyes wide, as you'd say, what just happened? As you'd look over and see, you know, you know, a vice is basically on him, as she would say, Bell! As she would basically grab onto his, you know, body, as she would hug him, as Bell would say this, Oh, oh, um, um, a vice is, what are you doing? As she'd say, I'm glad you're okay. Are, are, are you fine? Did anything hurt? Or is there any. As Bell would say this, no, 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 I'm fine, just, what just hell, what the hell just happened? After, you know, after, you know, um, you know, if I was explaining all, like, explaining everything, he would say, I see, so I was in a coma? And she would say this, yeah, pretty much. I'm just glad you're okay, Bell. After saying this, Bell would say this, huh, you too, my lovely little cyclops. As you'd say this, huh, me too. My cute little white bunny. After saying this, they would slowly start, you know, um, you know, stand up, including Bell. As Bell would try to stand up, as he feels his legs are a bit, you know, shaken a little bit. As she would say this, are you okay? As Bell would say this, yeah, just peachy. I just, my legs don't feel really good all that much. As she would say, um, just, um, just lean on my shoulder, okay? As Bell would say this, uh, sure. So after Bell leans on his like leans on their shoulder, they would start to move out of there and would start to move towards, you know, where, you know, the rest of the, you know, Hestia Familia are. So, the Hestia Familia I mean the Hestia Familia has been, you know, waiting for a long time for Bell to basically wake up. It's been about like a month ever since, you know, um Bell actually, you know, has woken up. As they would look over and would see, you know, you know, um, Hephaestus, and right beside her, was Bell. As all of them would run up to him, as they would say, Bell, you're right! As they would basically come up to them, as, you know, I mean, come up to him, as one of them would say this, specifically Lily. Are, are you okay? Did anything, uh, are you hurt, or do you have a headache, or, as Bell would say this, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm just, <sighs> so, how's it been? As she would say this, um, pretty well, but, we're just, you know, um, a bit tired after doing all of that work. I mean, you mostly did all of the work for, you know, you mostly did all of the work, so we were, you know, struggling at the time, you know, said, you know, um, wait for a second. Um, I meant, yeah, I was a bit, you know, we were struggling at the time, so, yeah, we're not really doing so hot, said, you know, Lily, as she would start to scratch the back of her neck, as Bella would say this. Yeah, I can definitely see that. So, is everything alright? But before they can say anything else, they would start to hear, or at least start to feel, the ground shaking as Bell would say this. What the hell is going on? As one of them would say this. I, I don't know, but as Bell would look over and would see a boss bar saying, you know, the, you know, the four pillars of the apocalypse have been awoken. Or more specifically, the pillars of Nebula, Solar, um, Vortex, and Stardust. Yeah, I think that's Stardust. Yeah. After Bell sees this, he would say, 
Don't tell me. As he would start to think, crap, 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 as Bo would basically get out of, you know, um, basically gets out of the arms of, you know, of, you know, her, aka, you know, a physis, she would say, Belle, are you, what are you doing? As Belle would say this, no time to explain, but we should probably get out of here immediately. And so they would start to get out of, you know, where they, you know, where the church is, as Belle is basically wearing his armor. As Belle would say this, oh god, please don't tell me. As the sky would slowly turn blue, as you'd say this, oh shit. As you would look over and would see a large, fleshy, almost dirt-like pillar basically floating up in the sky. Everybody is basically looking at it, as several creatures would basically appear, like, out of it. Mostly these creatures resemble... Several centipede-like creatures would start floating up in the sky, almost searching for prey, as several eyes and several tentacly-like creatures would also appear. As these seem to be glaring towards, you know, several of the populace, as they would charge over and destroy everything. As Bell would see this, as he would say, Great Stardust Pillar. As he would basically get ready his blade, as Bell would say this, Hey guys, tell everybody, or at least most of you, you know, um, your familiar devices, to basically get ready your weapons. Mostly the ones that I've, you know, provided you. More specifically, the medals that I've provided you, is more specifically, you say. But either way, do it! After saying this, you know, Faisal would start to run off, with the help of, you know, of Vita's basically acting as her, you know, bodyguard. As for Lily, she would start to get ready with her, you know, weapon in hand, specifically the Thor Chakra. As for Belle, he would grab, you know, as he would grab the last prism. After grabbing the last prism, he would start shooting down all of them as he would start pointing the last prism towards the, you know, nebula pillar. Meanwhile, as she was basically, you know, escorting, you know, you know, um, what's her face? Yeah, um, Hest, not Hestia, I meant a Feistus, towards her, you know, um, you know, her familiar mansion, she would basically look over and would see a few other monsters, more specifically, ones that seem to be made out of. She would see monsters that seem to be on fire, and the most prominent were floating ass spears that seem to be actual mobs, or monsters. As when she saw them, she would start to, you know, create more and more wood-like, you know, um, structures, more specifically, resembling, you know, the trees from Terraria. As while she was doing that, Physis would basically run into the, you know, into the shop and basically tell every single one of her familiar members to get ready for battle and basically get all of their weapons, or, you know, mostly the ones that are basically being created by the medals that, you know, Belle, you know, gave to her to basically fight this threat. So after being told of this, they would start going off as they would start, you know, attacking all of these monsters, which they're easily sort of defeating. I mean, most of the, you know, um, ores that she was given were either adamantite or, you know, or other types of metals, like, for example, shroomite and maybe even, you know, um, yeah, oh boy. Well, I sort of forgot the actual name of that specific item, the one that basically, you know, is the main item for, you know, creating or crafting the, you know, the solar armor. So, as they're currently, you know, fighting, you know, all of these, you know, mobs, as for, you know, um, Aphysis, Aphysis would basically walk out, you know, completely decked out. Not only that, she seems to be wearing armor that seems to be coated, you know, in, yeah, solar armor. She seems to also have solar wings, which, you know, Belle basically made for her, which she was pretty interested in. After, you know, showing off these wings, she would start flying off as she's, wheel like, wielding the, you know, wielding the Daybreak Spear. So, after wielding it, she would start, you know, hurling several, and I mean several spears towards, you know, several of the other monsters. More specifically, ones that seem to be made out of... These monsters seem to be made out of this almost purplish, pinkish color. And they seem to have, you know... Um, how do I see this? Oh, uh, yes. They seem to almost, you know, have exposed brains. And most of them either had, you know, one eye or some of them. 
and they seem to be, you know, floating up in the sky as they shoot out beams of energy. Or at least most of them. Some of them are basically just doing, you know, melee attacks as well, but, you know, for, you know, Faisis, she would start dodging out of the way as she would grab a, you know, a large-ass hammer. In this case, would use the Paladin's hammer and would start slamming it towards, you know, all of these monsters as she would look towards where the monsters were coming from. Specifically, a large looking pillar, almost similar to the, you know, to the one that they saw earlier. Instead, it's colored pinkish with a bit of a purplish touch. As she would start to, you know, go towards it and would start, you know, using her hammer to slam into it. While she was doing that, the pillar would start to respond with the attack as it would start more, and I meant, you know, I meant, you know, producing more, and I mean more monsters. These monsters seem to be charging forward and screaming out in pain as they seem to be responding to the pain of the, you know, of this weird looking fleshy ass pillar. As when she saw this, she would start, you know, going down from the sky as she would start using her daybreak to basically create more and more shockwaves. Currently with, you know, um, some other adventurers. Currently the ones that didn't have the, you know, the luxury to get, you know, the OP weapons that Bell and Hephaestus made. Currently they're running away towards, you know, a little bunker made by the, you know, made by the guild. As they're currently being, you know, told that they should probably stay out of this. As for, you know, a certain group of individuals, the, you know, the... How do I say this? Ah, uh, yes, the Loki people are currently thinking, yeah, we're fucked. And the more specific members are thinking in their minds, yep, we caused the apocalypse. Except for Ben, because he obviously doesn't think that he's going, that they actually caused the, like, caused the apocalypse. He thinks he's probably, like, you know, some random familiar or something. As, while he was basically deluding himself at this point, you know, one of them would say this, um, Bet, we should probably tell them. As he would say this, no, we couldn't. And besides, it would just ruin our, rep uh, our reputation. After saying this, one of them would say this, specifically, you know, Loki. Loki would say, um, Bet, what did you just say? And what do you mean by ruin our reputation? As after looking towards the voice, you, like, I meant, he would look and would see Loki as he would say this. Oh, um, it's nothing, Loki. Um, it's nothing really that bad, I swear. After, you know, some of the, you know, people that are currently in the, you know, guild are basically hearing about this, they would say, What did you do, Bet? All of them would say, like, instantly. As all of them are currently, you know, sweating their asses off. You know... The most currently sweating is, you know, Bet, because he knows that he's going to get fucked because of it. As, you know, Finn would basically just explain. After hearing about this, oh boy, let's just say all of their killing intent is looking towards, you know, are basically pointing towards, you know, Bet's, you know, Bet's direction. And as for Bet, you know, Bet is currently just like, you know, um, yeah pretty much not really good right now. He's currently being, you know, stared down to at everybody because everybody knows that it's all Bet's fault for basically causing the literal apocalypse. I mean, yeah, I'm really sorry about the whole stuttering thing because, you know, I'm still pretty much, you know, dealing with the pain of my tongue accidentally, you know, because I did really blow on my, you know, soup at the time, or more specifically, like, you know, some simple, like, noodles. And, yeah, let's just say my, like, my tongue feels like absolute hell right now. So, yeah, that is why I'm, you know, sort of stuttering. So, currently with, you know, Bet, he would say, In my defense, I thought they were actually monsters. As some of them would say this. Or at least, you know, some of them would say, Oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe think first before you act? All of them would basically say out loud, as Bet is currently just, like, you know, in shock. As you would say, <sighs> whatever as before you can say anything else saying like something about like you know it's all their fault that they you know basically abandoned him you know Loki would beat them to the punch as you say oh, your arrogance has certainly made me you know seem like the villain right now and by the way it wasn't my fault and besides it's his fault as all of them would just look towards Bet and they're certainly angry as Bet is currently, you know, just like sulking in the corner, as currently with the other, you know, familiar members, they would say, you know, I meant, you know, the other, you know, um, 
you know, other people in the guild would say, wait, what about the Epices and, you know, Hestia Familia? As Bat would say this, maybe they're dead or whatever. After saying this, all of them would just glare at, you know, well, as, you know, you know, not well, I meant, you know, Bet, I meant. As Bet would say, whatever, he would basically look back towards, you know, the wall that he's currently staring at because he doesn't want to get, you know, um, you know, glared at by anyone else. As, you know, everybody would start to talk, as they would think, maybe they're fighting off these weird looking pillar things. As one of them would say this, pillars, as one of them would say this, yeah, I saw those weird looking pillars, and they seem to be spewing out more monsters, and those monsters are definitely not normal. Instead of actually disintegrating and turning into just, you know, a simple ass, you know, a simple ass, you know, monster core, instead they just linger there. Like, forever, like a normal corpse. As all of them were shocked hearing about this, as they would say, So you're telling us those are, those, that, those pillars are basically creating those weird monsters? As he would say this, yeah, it seems so. As currently, you know, while they're basically talking, they would hear the sound of the door, you know, slamming open. As they would see a member from the, you know, from the Hephaestus family, as they would say this. Oh god, thank god that all of you are okay. As all of them were saying this. What happened? What happened to Hesti and the, you know, and the Hephaestus family? What happened to your familia? As all of them are basically saying that. As he would say this. Calm down. We're currently dealing with the problem right now. We're taking down these... Pillars, or at least what we call those things, pillars. Apparently, Mr. Bell knows them. As all of them were shocked, as all of them would say this. Wait, how does Bell know them? As he would say this. Apparently, he saw, saw, you know, wait for a second. Apparently, he saw this phenomenon many years ago. Or at least, that's what he said. And apparently, these things are known as, you know, they're called the Lunar Pillars or something. And it's our job to basically destroy them before they can do any more damage. As, after hearing about this, as one of them would say this, specifically, you know, um, a random, you know, adventurer, he would say, um, if that's true, then what is the cause of this? As he would say this, well, he told me if a person by the name of the lunatic cultist, or I meant the lunatic cultist, or the mad cultist, was killed, this would happen. After hearing about this, you know, all of them, or more specifically, you know, the main members of the Loki Familia would start glaring at, you know, Bet, as Bet would say this. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. As, you know, the Apollo, not the Apollo, I meant, you know, the, you know, the Ephesus Familia member, you would say this. Don't tell me that you killed the lunatic cultist. As you'd say this. In my defense, I thought it was a normal monster. As you'd say, you idiot! You almost killed us! You basically... You know, um, how do I say this? You basically caused the end of the world! As he would basically clench his head as he would say, Ugh. Anyway, we're gonna be taking care of the problem thanks to this. As he would basically grab a adamantite, you know, pole arm, basically from his back, as you'd say, Guess I should be going now. You better stay out of our way, because this is certainly gonna be dangerous for all of you. As he would start to fly away, getting out of no- like, getting out of there. After saying this, all of them would say, wait, did he have wings earlier? As they would realize that he had weird looking wings, more specifically, Spectre wings, which by the way, are pretty good wings in my opinion, even though I prefer just using, you know, the Black Pirate Ship, or, you know, the Black Spot to basically use all my, you know, flying abilities on, because it's basically just an easier version to, it's basically just a, like, an easier version of, you know, the UFO mount, which, you know, instead of getting the UFO mount, which, by the way, I mean, it's still pretty cool, but at least it's easier to get, you know, the black spot than, you know, the, you know, the, um, the UFO car keys or whatever you actually call them. So, yeah, currently with, you know, um, the... You know, the rest of the people that are currently, you know, taking care of the, you know, pillars. Currently, Bell is still pretty much fighting the, you know, the Stardust Pillar. And basically destroying all of these mobs. And after a while, Bell would basically, you know, reach up for his, you know, um, yeah, his SDMG. As you start opening fire towards, you know, the large-ass pillar. And would destroy it. After doing that, he would say... <sighs> 
one down, three more to go. After saying this, he would basically start, you know, flying off thanks to the help of, you know, just imagine a mix of all of the wings from Terraria. Yeah, that's basically what he's, you know, flying, you know, flying with. Even though he can just use the black spot, but, you know, just imagine it just like that. After realizing that he can, you know, use the black spot, he was just, as I meant, I meant, <sighs> wait for a second, as I meant, he would say, you know, wait, I have the black spot. Uh, whatever. At least it's much more quicker. And so he would start flying off to where, you know, Hephaestus is. Currently with Hephaestus. Hephaestus is still pretty much fighting against, you know, the Nebula Pillar. As the Nebula Mobs would start, you know, running over her and would start, you know, shooting out blasts and start biting on her. Her armor, thanks to its, you know, high durability, would still pretty much protect her, but she's still pretty much worried that she's about to get killed as one of the Nebula mods would basically charge over towards her, as it would start bearing its claws towards her, or, you know, claws towards, you know, Ophysis, as you would say, God damn it! Please, I don't want to die! As, before she can block it with, you know, her hammer, Belle would swoop in and basically save her, basically carrying her bridal style, as you would say this. Are you okay, my lovely little Cyclops? As she would say this. Yeah, I'm fine. But it seems that we're surrounded. As several of these, you know, brain-looking-ass monsters that, you know, kind of look similar to, you know, the Brain of Cthulhu, but smaller, as Belle would say this. Hmm. How about this, um, my lovely little Cyclops? Whoever gets all of the, you know, whoever gets, you know, all of these monsters out will become the winner. And whoever wins will have to, you know, pay for the person's, you know, um, pay for the, you know, person's meal. As you say this, you're on. And so they would start to get ready their swords, or at least, you know, in her case, it's a spear, as they would start charging towards all of the mobs and would start killing all of them. So, after a while killing almost all of them, they would look towards, you know, the nebula pillar and would start opening fire. As Hest, not Hestia, yeah, I meant, you know, Hephaestus would start, you know, using her, you know, play like her paladin hammer to basically start slamming into it as for bell he would start like opening fire on it thanks to the help of you know the terra prisma basically summoning several and i mean several terra prisma swords and would start slashing into it these you know slashes would start slashing through you know the nebula pillar destroying it and so would destroy the nebula pillar once and for all as both see this two down two more to go. After saying this, she would say, wait, there's two more? As Bob would say this, yeah. And those are the solar and vortex pillar. After saying this, she would say, so where are they? As Bob would say this, you're going to, you know, the west side. I'm going to go to the, you know, the north side of the, you know, city. I should say, right. And so after departing, they would start leaving to go towards the, you know, the supposed locations of the other, you know, Lunar Pillars. And so, we're gonna be ending this episode right off here, because, you know, I'm a bit tired, okay? I'm really sorry about that, guys. So, yeah. So, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!